Hey y'all, welcome back to Be Rag Garage. Um, gonna mix it up a little bit. Had a couple of Chevy Square Body videos. Gonna throw a Dodge at y'all. Um, I bought a 2002 Ram 1500. First truck I ever bought new out of college. I don't know if y'all heard my dog out there. It's a real home type deal here, y'all. I mean, I'm in the garage there, you know. Yes, yeah, you're hungry. Yes, I will feed you, I promise. Let me, let me talk to the people. Anyway, um, sorry. I just want to take a look at it. Maybe think about lowering it. Tires and wheels, maybe. I don't know. Let me see uh, see what y'all think. Please let me know. We're going to take a walk around, kind of sweep it out a little bit, and see what we can find out. Appreciate y'all. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Beer at Garage. Let's talk about the old 2002 Dodge, the good and the bad, and um, kind of our plans for my first ever quote-unquote build. I know rims and tires and a lift or drop is probably not a real build to a lot of people but to me it'll be the first time i've done anything like that so i'm i'm looking forward to it kind of nervous not gonna lie but i'm looking forward to it um i know i hope i'm not too shaky here so y'all might can see i lost the inner fender well up under there is gone as well as this bottom piece of the fender when i had a real bad blowout when my son was real young tore the tire up you know slapped it up against tore everything out underneath there so probably need a new inner fender wall um fender well liner i mean there's wires back there and everything so not sure what i'm gonna do with that never patched any metal before so that might be interesting um it starts and runs every time you ask it to the magic of fuel injection i suppose but i've got a uh Got a little 4.7 liter V8 in here, and this this has been a good motor to me. The only thing I've had to do is replace the radiator, which makes sense because those rascals put plastic and metal on the same item. Plastic and metal have different, you know, heat tolerances and whatnot. So after many many years, it finally gave out. I bought this truck brand new in 2002. It was the first new vehicle I'd ever bought, but it's uh, it's always been loyal, been a good truck. There's uh, there's no real body damage um paint's okay might be able to be buffed out the uh i don't have the problems i have on my dad's truck the 2001 so that's good um y'all probably can't read the sizing but i've got 265 70 r17s on here and if you notice there's a lot of wheel well and that's a 17 inch rim just a stock 2002 so i think the plan is going to be to maybe lower it i don't know um I don't know if y'all can see this uh, for quote unquote exhaust it has the tiniest glass pack in existence and i have to have an extension it fell out a minute ago of course i have an extension that makes it to the back of the cab so the silly thing can even pass inspection so <laughs> so we probably need to do something with the exhaust as well um, i still have the stock exhaust and all the piping and stuff maybe we can figure out how to make a muffler fit maybe scab something together from that but uh let me get y'all set up and we'll kind of maybe do like some measurements and stuff and kind of see what this truck might end up looking like when we're uh done i guess before i get y'all uh before i get y'all set up to where we're kind of looking at the wheels so let's take a look at the interior um seat's still in decent shape our floor mats are pretty much gone from where your foot rests and goes back and forth and if any of y'all were wondering about this era of dodges uh yep 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 no dash none really whatsoever um i mean split all the way from here to this kind of i don't think it's called a deck lid but kind of that area i basically had to take that out in chunks a few years ago and the shop i talked to said it's because this whole unit is like almost tied structurally somehow into the cab and the body and when the body flexes that causes problems because plastic's not real great at flexing but anyway it's kind of dirty in here obviously and this dash is not great but all in all the old truck's in really good shape um i always tried to keep it clean and take care of it and um you know first new truck i guess i still kind of have a little bit of a soft spot for it but let me get y'all back out here where we can kind of see i try to move to a leveler spot and let's see what this thing might look like either going up or down kind of thinking down since it's two-wheel drive but anyway let's take a look at it y'all this is how the pros do it right that's how you clean out interior with a with a corn broom that's that's how it is right like i mean all big shops do that right sweep it out with a broom yeah i, I figured 
I figured that was it. All right, y'all. That's probably not the bestest of the best angles, but I wanted you to at least get an idea. My tripod says it's level. That's a fairly level piece of ground. Kind of to see what it looks like in between there. As you can see, there's a ton of space between the fender well and the tire. Um, just stock everything except for, believe it or not, this truck, I put drop shackles in the back to level it just so it was a kind of addition pieces that kind of let the bed swing down to kind of level it through. I don't think it's obviously 100% level, but uh, but yeah, so I have done that. So if you can imagine, this truck was even raked up higher in the back and lower in the front. So I guess let's take some ground to, I don't know, how do we do this, y'all? Ground to top of fender wall, maybe? And then maybe from tire to fender wall? I don't know. Let's uh, Let's see how that works. We'll work on this together here. I hope y'all can hear me. Let's do uh, let's do floor to top of fender wall here in the back. We got pretty much right at 37. Let's move down here. In 34 and a quarter. So trying to adjust for changing rim size and whatnot. Maybe we can go from the center of the uh, the hub cab, kind of where the axle would be, to the top of the fender wall there. Kind of see what that looks like. So I've got about 20 and a half inches from what I think is close to the center to right here on the lip of the fender well. And let's see what the other side. This is pretty much 23. What'd I say over there, guys? 20, 21, 21 and a half? Is that what I said? I already forgot. Let's check it real quick. Twenty and a half. Okay. So that's a pretty, pretty good difference. Um, that's two and a half inches, right? Twenty and a half to 23. Yeah. Two and a half inches. So. Still a big gap in between the two. Um, I'm new to all this, so I don't know how you're supposed to figure out um, rim size, tire size. I think I want to just do maybe some newer model OE Dodge 20s um, and then different. I was thinking about maybe a 275.60 maybe on the size. I'll have to do some research and look, but I'm thinking that's where I'm going to go is to drop it with a... Uh, drop kit front and rear i don't even know the specs on that you look online and it says two four and three five and four six and drop shackle this and spring that and man it's a it's a whole new world to me y'all but uh i think the old truck will look pretty neat lowered down a little bit it's always kind of been a country truck you know i grew up in the country and when i contracted for a while i used it and everything but i think it'd be kind of cool to give it kind of a new life as a different uh, different type of vehicle. It's not gonna be on the dirt per se, but I think it's gonna be a lot lower. And, uh, and maybe we'll do some other stuff, like the headlights are fog real bad, and you can tell that front fender, if we turn y'all just a little, that front fender is taking, taking some abuse. So, um, probably from that, well, not probably, from that blowout. So, anyway, yeah, I think, uh, I think it's gonna turn out okay. But like I say, a lot of fender well, a lot of gap in between the tire and the and the bottom of the fender well. So let's uh, we'll see what we can't do about that. I'll uh, get on the old interwebs and see what we can't find out. <laughs> 